tonight on EA Sports. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champions taking on the NFC champions, the New Orleans Saints. And it's Deshaun Watson. Might have won back-to-back -back Heisman trophies if the ballot had come after the national championship games that he and Clemson played against Alabama. But when you watch him on the field, you realize why coordinators and head coaches want to bend their offense to his talents. Because when he's got the ball in his hands, he can be magical at times. He finds an opening past the 40. And all the way out to the 46. That's good. What a nice gain at 21 yards. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 47-yard line. Here's Watson. Got a man on the right sideline. That's Fleming. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. And the coach has decided to challenge this play. He has tossed down the red flag. Set, 
Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the... He is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Saints have taken the early lead. And on the grandest of stages, with a whole world watching the Super Bowl, they come out and get the first points. I don't know how you feel about it, Brandon, but for me, watching the beginning of the Super Bowl, I've often wondered how come it's not just a fumble fest? How come the ball's not all over the place? The nerves, the interim in between of the two weeks waiting for the game. But this team came out and handled it just like it was a regular season walk in the park. Terrific start. Good as the Saints have a seven to nothing lead. The drive summary: four plays, 75 yards, and it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's so, not, and so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that told me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. That's good. Four, eight. First and ten at the 41-yard line. They'll run on first down. Poe. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and From the gun. Evans. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Pass complete to number 20. A gain of two on the play. Brings up third and four. Here's Evans. From the gun on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And that went off the mark a little late with a throw. Intended for his wideout. It's now fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one's set away. Fielded just inside the 20. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in this seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you're running the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Number 46, the ball they Give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. From the gun, here's Watson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Three catches for him now in this first quarter of the Super Bowl. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up when they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense coming here in the early going. To number seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. At the 50-yard line. It's a gain of seven. Brings on second down, it's Coleman. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. First and 10, Watson over the middle complete. It's Fleming. 
And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 10 yards, good for his Saints first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now it's Watson. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. 35-yard line. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And finally taken down at the 15. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. That's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static, one, two, three, this is where the ball goes anymore. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here, second and 11. From the gun, it's a handoff to Coleman. He will push his way down to about the 14. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that is incomplete. The third one has been a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Celtic Tigers, nothing. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They run the counter. Poe. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Four yards the pick up, first down. At the 42-yard line. Operating from the gun, Evans. And that'll be incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. It's second down and 10. Throwing again, Evans. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. Nine yards. 
yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Third and one. Now Evans from the gun on third down. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 25-yard line. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. And they'll try the jet sweep here. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. step on that last play because the drive has been strong but now it's second and 12. From the gun, Evans, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Third down and 12. Evans now from the gun on third down. Throwing for his running back and he's got him complete. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? Cliff Kingsbury here on fourth down, trots out the field goal unit. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to three. Saints 10, Celtic Tiger is three. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine play drives pay dividends later. Get another nine play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Yard line. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Brings up second and four. 10-3 our score after one here on EA Sports. 10, Celtic Tigers three. Second down at four. A shotgun snap for Watson. Throwing the out route and complete. It's Carter. After getting this one across the 40. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. An ex teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you you want to call it seven yards on first down that fits the bill three yards remain for second down now Watson got his man complete over the middle that's Fleming and well past midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40 11 yards there first down 
They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. Eight yards. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. Operating from the gun, Watson. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. At the 29-yard line. From the gun, Watson. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. And here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. And they are able to stop it, but it does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. It's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, and they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Again, it's Watson. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. At their own 28-yard line. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Little chance. We'll see if they can get the score. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. to throw is Evans on first and ten. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. At the 15 yards there on the catch and run. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10. At the Saints, 43-yard line. Operating from the gun. Evans. 
gets it. Incomplete there. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. And ten yards to go. Looking to throw. Evans. And they set up the screen. That's complete. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. They bring their punter out there now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now, defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. to the 21-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback, but as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to be hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, hey, listen, there's some guy, there got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. down. Poe. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. One yard gain. Brings up second and nine. Gonna give this time to the tailback. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, sometimes a thing of beauty. Evans from the gun, he'll throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. Not much there, only a yard. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. windows to throw the football that exists when you're between the 20s. They don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. And it's caught. Touchdown. From six yards away. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. And applause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. The 
kicker on for the extra point. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. And he'll bang that one through. So that drive spanned five plays. Celtic Tigers 10. This game back with it a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. Here's Carter now on the return. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. And he's looked pretty good. Does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes so far. Your analysis. They'll take the offset. When you talk about throwing two touchdown passes, no one wants to see an interception thrown, but those things happen in the course of the ball game and over the course of the season. But throwing two touchdown passes, that's why the team has an advantage. That's what they're looking for more of. They'll be hoping to make it a three-to-one ratio here in the second quarter. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it but in this case they gave yardage and didn't get it back a loss of a yard there to start out that leads to a second and 11 to throw is Watson on the screen, this is Coleman. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. Complete to number 46. It's a gain of six. Brings up third and five. Watson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ten yards, good for a Saints first down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Watson on first down. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 35 before going out. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. First it's so important to tackle well against these guys, but you and I both know that's easier said than done when the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy. Now it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down, and it did right there. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. To the line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Throwing again is Watson. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. Doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, they move and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Deshaun Watson with his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Saints add on to their lead. Go as a Mario go through his progressions and find the open receiver. I believe we just saw that there. And we admire him just a little bit more when it goes for a touchdown. Extra point attempt 
here still to come. And the lead is up to 14. So that drive goes eight plays. And it all culminates in the Saints touchdown. Tiger is 10. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. He'll have a first down past the 40. And all the way down to the 33 yard line. A huge play there screen pass 41 yards i think it's pretty safe to say that initially they had to be thinking about trying to get into field goal range but after that shot right there they've got to be thinking bigger right now and that was probably their thought offensively if we hit this great let's go for the end zone if not settle for a field goal looks like they can try to hit pay dirt so the big play changes the complexion of things here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now here's a throw, it's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 16 more on that one and another first down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This is caught. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. From 17 yards out. And his guys have made this a one-score game now. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. making his way back out the focus of our players spotlight and it's been a good game for him to this point Charles they're winning on the scoreboard they got to be feeling pretty good and it's always fun for them when they're not just winning on the scoreboard but they're contributing in a big way As you see him throwing touchdown passes watching this video here it's got to be a fun time for him and a relaxed time because nothing is pressing relaxed cool calm collective all those things describing him right now on first down, Watson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. He finds his man complete. It's Ballard. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, it's Watson. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Watson. Three yards the game there, second down. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. So 
So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season of football, but it's not over yet. One half remains to decide who will stand on the podium with the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And to call the second half, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. First down and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Now left side on the swing pass. Three yards the game there, second down. To number 20. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 30-yard line. From the gun, Evans. And he swings one that's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Brings up third down and seven. Back to throw. Evans. They were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. Inside the five to the four. That's good. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed nowadays. These guys look like running backs, even though they're playing out on the perimeter. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. It's a nice second effort we just saw there. So I'm trying to get to the end zone, but a lot of times near the goal line, that second effort can lead to disaster. Make sure you hold on to the football because there's going to be guys swarming when you're carrying it. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. They're just shy of the goal line. Four yards on the pickup. It's now third and goal. Operating from the gun. Watson. Flush. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Deshaun Watson taking it in. And the Saints take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash in for six. He's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 31, Celtic Tigers 17. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. First and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, 
They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Poe. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. A two-yard pickup brings up third and six. From the gun, Evans. And that will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Punt team on now as this one sent away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. First and 10 at their own 28. The Saints offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. First down throw, Watson. That's the right side here, complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off back to back good plays have them on the move on first down well they'll run it here on the jet sweep and he's got some space here now he works it past the 30 almost to the 25. 15 more there and they're on a roll it's another first down first and 10 at the 27 yard line It's Fleming. A gain of six there on first. To number 80. It's a that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Going to give this time to the tailback. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Saints now add six to their lead. 
that drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drives seven plays in length, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Dublin's offense now set to take over. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. you got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the gun, Evans, over the middle, complete. It's Morgan, and he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. They run the counter. Poe, nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. You know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough day for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Operating from the gun, Evans. right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Evans. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. It's a wobbler here. 
And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. And they're on 30. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Looking deep downfield, and that is incomplete. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Second and 10 at the 30-yard line. To throw again, Watson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Ballard. They're able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Frankly, I don't know that this defense knows what to do anymore. Just look at their body language out there. The passing game has absolutely been relentless throughout. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. He's brought down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Two brings up second and eight. Operating from the gun. Watson eluding the pressure right. He'll try and run it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Deshaun Watson, so multi-dimensional, able to scramble for the first. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. First and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Second and nine. And that's incomplete. Watson. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. They dialed up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And the 10-year bet knocks it through the goalpost. And that will extend the lead out to 24. 41. Celtic Tigers, 17. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you do across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, taking away a lot of blocking angles and gaps and maybe stopping him before he can get going. Mugging the line of scrimmage, okay. Yeah, in this case, I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And that 
wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Here's Evans from the gun on third down. Over the middle, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so, and that way it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. Seven yards, the pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. It's a first down on a gain of 10. at the 29-yard line. From the gun, Evans. His throw incomplete. Evans pass. In the early days of the NFL, you could easily blame these drops on maybe some uneven or uncertain lighting in a stadium. Not anymore. The lights are pretty good. Yeah, they're great here at night, but his second drop indeed. Not a good look. Over the middle complete. That's Carter. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 the 6. 23 yards on the play. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. Now Washington. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Taking it in from a yard. And his guys are able to close that gap just a bit. Now Evans, operating from the goal. He fires one incomplete. That keeps the score safe. Popular down near the goal line, quick slant. Nice job there to get in, knock it away. It was. One of the other things you're concerned about when you throw that route is to make sure your offensive linemen use their leverage to get the hands of the defensive front down so you can throw it through that little bit of crowd and get it to the receiver. In this event, they did, but a nice play by the defender knocking it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. At their own 28-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. Going to give this time to the tailback. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Working with his second and four. Second and four. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. And what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him out. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. The 
here comes the Saints punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Dublin's offense now set to take over, and their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory, and this one just has not gone as they had hoped. First play of the drive there is incomplete. Second and ten now from the 27. Incomplete. It's second down and ten. Throwing again. Evans. Crossing route complete. It's Morgan. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Yippee! 15 yards on the play, first down. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. now on first down wide open receiver complete and they'll work this down to the 40 yard line tackled there it's another first down as they look his way again this time 19 yards defensively here you've got the cushion but back to back pretty big pass plays there bend but don't break but are they bending too much I think that they are to me it'd be like playing basketball and you put up a token press make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat back to throw is Evans throwing on first down oh it's a screen pass that's complete breaks the tackle now an alley and they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20 Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Well, first down screen pass, good for five. Ball at the 14 for second and five. Operating from the gun, Evans throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and five. And this play goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. They're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl. They're going to need this one on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it is incomplete. The fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And the Saints will have the football back. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call, is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And a short gate across the 15 to the 17-yard line. He's taken down at the That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second and eight. On second down now, it's Coleman. 
And he'll take this one up to about the 23. The ball carrier. It's a gain of six. Moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Gain of six. Makes it third. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Here comes the Saints punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Officially, and that will come the offense as they take over. Dublin's offense now set to take over. Let's just be frank, they're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A gain of 28 yards there and give them a first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last. And he gets him to the end zone for the touchdown. 25 yards for the touchdown. And his guys are able to cut into that deficit. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Extra point forthcoming. this an 11 point deficit now a drive there of just four plays Celtic Tigers 30 so time definitely not in their favor down two scores but they'll try the onside kick and the Saints are going to get to this one so that should about do it. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Going to give this time to the tailback. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. And they will take a knee here. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. And they'll indeed take a knee. First and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. And they'll 
Lombardi Trophy is headed back to the bayou. The New Orleans Saints, Super Bowl champions. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi Trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.